Hello everyone and welcome to SolidWorks Station. In today's tutorial we're going to look at creating this stainless steel drill gauge that runs from 10mm drill bits all the way through to 4mm drill bits. So let's get started. First thing we need to do in SolidWorks is go to a top plane and normal to. We then need to go to sketch and click on the fly option for rectangle and choose center rectangle. We're going to click on the origin. It's always good to draw our, our parts from a known point. So sketch that out and let's give it some smart dimensions. Okay, I want it to be a hundred. by 40 millimeters and just click on the screen tip. You'll notice as well we've got some uh, curves on the edge of this part. Okay, so we need to place uh, some radii in the corners of this part. So, close dialog and under the sketch command you can see here sketch fillet so just click on that and then you're going to left click on one side left click on the other and this actually needs to be a fillet parameter change that to 5 and you're going to repeat that by just left clicking on each line once you've done um, all four corners and you've given those a fillet of five millimeters you can then press on the green tick perfect well done so far so the next step we need to give this some depth some thickness so we're going to go into features and extrude boss base and we're extruding at the moment at 10 millimeters we want to extrude at four millimeters and mid plane once you've changed these values um, click on the green tick okay so that's the outer bit um, complete we just need to place on this um, 0.5 fillet around both sides so I'm going to go into fillet. We're going to change the fillet parameter to 0.5 millimeters, and we're going to click on this edge, spin it around, and click on this edge. We get a full preview because this has been highlighted. If you didn't want a preview, just click on this box here and green tick. That's looking good. So our next step is to place in the holes. Now these are at 12.5 millimeter center to centers and 12.5 millimeters in from the edges on both sides. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click on the face I'm interested in and I'm going to go to normal 2. I'm then going to sketch a line which is going to be a center line. I'm going to sketch that center line from as a midpoint line. So just clicking this one from the origin and just sketch out. and press the escape key. We can exit this sketch okay so this sketch 2 here is our center line I'm 
Let's rename that. Center line for holes. Okay. I'm going to create another sketch. A circle. Let's click on the face we're interested in first. Normal to and sketch. Okay, we're going to sketch a circle to start off with. Just on this side. And I want this to be a distance of 12.5 millimeters away from the edge. Okay. Next, we're going to make a linear sketch pattern from this. So click on linear sketch pattern. The entity to pattern is this circle. We're going to pattern it seven times at a spacing of 12.5 millimeters. Okay. Once we've done that, we can then click on the green tick. Now, I'm just going to pick up by holding down the control key and clicking on each one of these circles. I'm going to make them for construction. Okay, and green tick. Now that I've got those in place, I'm actually going to draw the real circles in position. So these are just guides about where the center point for each of my circles are going. So I know I need a 10 millimeter diameter all the way through to four millimeters. And that's what I'm going to do next. So we're going to go up into sketch, select circle and draw our first circle in place. Let's smart dimension that up. So we want this to be 10. Next, we'll smart dimension this one up at nine and continue to do this all the way through to the end. Okay, once you've done that, it should look very similar to mine. You've still got the construction circles in place, but you've got um, the official circles that we're going to cut through uh, the stainless steel um, also in place. So what you can do now is you can go ahead and just delete the construction circles. So let's click the delete key and delete because we know that all these circles now are in their official locations. Okay, so from here, we can um, go to Features, Extruded Cut, and Cut Through All, and Green Tick. Perfect, and the center line that we had here before, which was our center line for the holes, we can right click that now and hide that. Okay, next thing we're going to do is just deburr these holes. Uh, that's what you would do in practice, so let's do it um, on SolidWorks. Uh, in practice, you would take a deburring tool um, just to get um, rid of any uh, burrs that are built up here on the stainless steel. So let's use a fillet and let's fill it by 0.5 okay so there's two ways of doing this uh, you can either click on uh, the circles individually alternatively you can go to fill it click on this face and it will do each one of these circles we can also go on the back face as well, and it will do the holes at the back um, in addition to the ones on the front. 
Let's go and green tick. Okay. Control 7 on the keyboard. Just have a little look at a, an isometric view. Perfect. So we've got our 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 and 4 millimeter holes in place. Uh, the last things that we need to do is place in the numbers and place in the SOLIDWORKS station text. So let's do the um, SOLIDWORKS station text to start off with. So we're going to click on the surface we're interested in and normal to. And we're going to go to sketch line and I want to draw a line down from the quadrant of this circle hit the escape key back up to line I'm going to draw another line from the quadrant of this circle then I'm going to grab one more line and sketch it across the page. I'm going to give this a smart dimension so I want this line to appear five millimeters from this bottom bottom edge. I also want to make this line for construction and now I'm just going to go to trim entities trim to closest I'm just going to trim away the lines that I don't need perfect and I'm going to go and exit the sketch right click on this rename and this is going to be my construction line for main text okay okay next I need to um, make another sketch so I'm going to click on the surface I'm interested in normal two sketch and click on the text it's asking me for a, a curve or a line to follow for the text we've got one it was this one what we've just drawn so we're going to left click on that and we're going to type in our text which is going to read SOLIDWORKS station now if you notice on the screen it's not fitting on that's because we're using a document font and document font uh, sizes so just untick that box go to font and just change the height now that's a standard British standard um, 8888 font size uh, 3.5 uh, uh, so we're going to change this and we're going to put this in at 2.5 which is also a recognized um, standard font so once we've got 2.5 in there we're going to press OK and you'll notice now that solid workstation fits um, centrally so we click this you could fully justify it and space it out a little bit more um, however we're going to centralize ours uh, for this example once you've done that you can click on the green tick and you can close the sketch okay what we want to do with this um, text now is we want to cut it into the stainless steel uh, main uh, rectangle that we've got so if we click on our sketch I'm just going to rename this so rename and we'll call this SOLIDWORKS station main text okay so I'm going to click on that and I'm now going to go to features extruded cut and I'm going to cut it in by one millimeter Okay, and we get a little preview of that. Green tick. Okay, 
let's hide the construction line for the main text so just right click on that and click on the little eye with a line through it and we can zoom in now and see the one millimeter cut that we've done perfect okay our last part is the numbers okay all the numbers are aligned with the center of each one of these holes so it's a similar principle to how we've just done the solid workstation uh, just a little bit uh, different in parts so click on the surface we're interested in and uh, normal to go to the sketch tab and create a new sketch okay this time we're going to draw a line down from the quadrant of every circle okay so on the left hand side that left hand side quadrant and the right hand side quadrant okay another way of doing this quickly rather than keep going back up to line just draw one go to offset entity you know that this is nine millimeters so place nine millimeters in here and reverse Let's do that again. This one's going to be eight, so line. Draw your line down. Press the escape key. Offset entity. Eight. And reverse. And again. Draw your line down. We know this is seven. Offset entity, seven, reverse, and then click on the line. And just continue to do this. Six. Until all of the circles are done. Okay, so uh, it should look similar to mine now, okay, with um, lines coming down from either side of each circle, from 10 millimeters all the way through down to the 4 millimeters. Once you've done that, you're going to then get another line, and you're going to draw a line all the way through, making sure it's straight. If it's not, okay, if you've not done it straight, if, for example, you've You've clicked here by accident, it's not a problem. Just click on the line and just make it a relation of horizontal. Screen tick. Okay, let's give this a smart dimension. I want the distance from this line. In fact, let's draw a center line in the circle. Just draw a center line. I want the distance from this line to the midpoint of that line to be eight millimeters. Okay, green tick. I want to make this line for construction, green tick. Now go into Trim Entities, Trim to Closest, and just trim away what we don't need. Okay, so just left clicking, using that trim to closest, and just trimming away the blue lines to leave the construction lines. Okay? And we don't need this center line anymore, so we can trim that away as well. Yes. Okay, green tick. 
and exit the sketch and let's rename this so rename the tree item and we're going to rename this um, construction line for numbers okay okay click on the surface we're interested in normal to sketch now click on the text our first line is going to be this one and we're going to place in the text the number 10 now remember what we did before take off the use tech uh, document text go to font change the height to 2 and OK green tick okay back into the letter click on our next line 9 change the font final one and then I'm going to speed it up a little bit take off document font change it to 2 green tick ok so I'm just going to speed up a bit now and do the rest Okay, and the final one, so we're going to go to text, click on the line, placing 4, untick the box, font, change the units to a height of 2, and then those are numbers in place. Let's go to features, let's go to extruded cut, let's extrude cut it by one millimeter in fact let's change that to 0.5 okay and green tick let's hide the construction line that we did let's hide the origin control 7 on your keyboard okay and it's beginning to take shape brilliant okay next if you want to do this you could you could go and give this a material we said it was going to be stainless steel so if you go on material just right click and go to edit material and you can scroll down here and choose a stainless steel of your choice let's go with this one stainless steel and apply and close and there you have it there's our finished uh, 10 millimeter through to 4 millimeter stainless steel drill gauge thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you do have any comments or questions then please feel free to comment below as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been Solid Workstation. I've been Stuart. Thank you and goodbye.